G'day mobile gaming fans, it's Michael Raw back yet again with another game review, a casual game review week this week. And today we're going to be doing the Fisher Cat. Now remember, kids, a quick game is a good game, so get out there and limit your screen time and get into nature. Okay, so the Fisher Cat, editor's choice with half a million downloads, and uh, a recent update brought out end of last year, or was it the beginning of this year? I think it might be the beginning of this year. Anyway. I picked this one because it had really good reviews and it was editor's choice, so I thought I'd give this one a go. And so far, I really like it. I think it's uh, really good. Now, jumping in, I actually it actually reminds me slightly of the Angry Birds graphics. So that the graphics are, are quite pro quality. I think they're really good. Um, you, you can jump straight in and get a little short tutorial about how to play. The name of the game is to catch as many fish as you can. You start out on the island here. The good thing is you can actually decrease the, the sounds. Uh, you can not Instead of turning them on and off, you can actually decrease them, which I've done. And all of the different settings in settings. You go to your fish over here. Uh, catch fi fish bigger than the max size and you'll get five parts every time. So you've got to collect different parts of the fish. Catch all the fishes in the selected area and you'll be uh, reward parts so you can actually it looks like you can, you know, build things and get bonuses and upgrades through this part and go deeper and deeper down. These are, uh, I'm on day two, you obviously start out, I've only just started playing this game. You can actually unlock different characters for different in-app currency. In-app currency is coins and then shopping carts. So you've got remove ads, which is eight bucks. Now that's probably the most expensive I've seen. I think uh, Kick the Buddy was around eight dollars as well. So that, that was quite large. As you can see on the right hand side, you've got your parts, how, many, how much you've got. So you can go in, I've got 478 coins, you can actually upgrade your equipment. Now I'm going to upgrade my air tank yet again. So what happens is you go down and then you run out of air. You go to your mailbox and it just tells you uh, what's coming up on the next screen. You click on the boat and then you can go onto the coral reef here. And I've finished off 18% of this. So when I first started playing, you actually put your finger on the screen and it sort of occludes your view of the screen, but if you just tap it gently, you got to just catch him with the harpoon. The good thing is you can actually do multiple shots, you don't have to wait for the harpoon, harpoon to come back. And the more you play, the better you get at it. Oh, get that, get that. Oh, I missed it. So obviously the more cat fish you catch, the better, the more points you have. Oh, and I missed it. I don't want to continue. You can watch ads. So you run out of oxygen, you go up, and that determines how many points you get or in-app currency. So there you go. I've got... Oh, I didn't do very well there. And then you just progress through the game. So I really like the graphics. I like the gameplay. I think it's uh, fairly unique. I mean, it's not. It's probably not totally uh, unique, but it's uh, fairly unique. Uh, I can see why it's editor's choice. It's, uh, you know, there's probably heaps to unlock. You know, you've got lots of different environments to go through and go deeper down. Down the bottom left you can see here uh, you've got a fishing net, you've got um, chum, I think it is, it's a chum, and that, which attracts the fish and then obviously a mine which you can uh, blow up fish and throw the net out and catch them so it sort of stuns them. So again the gameplay is really cool, I, I think um, probably one for the kids, I don't think that's anything too uh, nasty in this, I mean we all go fishing. As long as you uh, fish sustainably. <laughs> I don't think this guy is for him very much. Oh, I'm doing alright now. Yeah, let's get that. Obviously, you can upgrade your harpoon, so that's something you probably want to do. Um, I think this one's a good... You have to figure out a good balance of harpoon upgrade as opposed to oxygen upgrade. So you want to have a, a longer harpoon, I think, really. And you continue for more coins or watch an ad. So already I've got the ads, uh, the internet on at the moment obviously, but um, I haven't come across too many ads. So there's not too many forced ads um, and you can actually choose to purchase ads or watch ads to um, unlock more in-app currency. So yeah, that's just a little preview. I think I'll play this more. I think this is definitely um, a four star game. I think the graphics are uh, pro quality, uh, pretty unique gameplay and uh, yeah. 
I think there's lots to unlock that's probably a little bit expensive, the unlockables. You've got all the different starter packs here, parts and things which you can upgrade your items with. So yeah, just a quick review today because I think it's a quick game, simple game to jump into but probably lots to unlock. Uh, it's free to download so that's another option and uh, that's another uh, advantage of this game. And again, the, the graphics are pro quality so yeah, four, four and a half stars I'd have to say. So. Uh, please comment, tell me what you think. I think it's definitely one for uh, you know sharing with the family. There's nothing wrong with that and probably give you months and months of gameplay. And they might come out with uh, more features with upgrades or, or um, updates. So remember, kids, a quick game is a good game. So get out there into nature and limit your screen time. Until next time, keep an eye out for my daily reviews.